Hi, Adam Bazalgette here in sunny Naples, Florida. I'm two-time PGA Teacher of the Year Award winner here, longtime David Ledbetter Associate. Today's subject, how to stop hitting toe shots. Stay tuned. So how to stop hitting toe shots. They can really plague your game. They'll rob you of not only accuracy, but certainly distance. We'll have a look at what I think is the leading cause of those today, kind of flesh out how you might work on that. If you liked the video, please subscribe to the channel. Got a lot of free content. Would love to get more coming your way. Scratchgolfacademy.com is my home website. Have full courses in every aspect of the game, including one-on-one -on -one internet lessons with me. Okay, let's get started. So there's a number of things that could cause you to hit the ball on the toe. Certainly you could stand too far from the ball. It's possible as well to lose your balance and straighten up away from it a little bit. That'll make you hit it out on the toe. But I think the most common one and the one we really want to tackle today, and that's the one where the club's coming from out, outside the target line to inside the target line. And what happens is the club's moving closer to you as hit and your arms are getting shorter and it is very easy to catch it out there in the toe. Let's have a look from that angle. So you could also say as we look from here that the swing's too wide on that side of the ball and consequently will start to get narrow on this side of the ball. You often see this chicken wing kind of pulled in look with the arms. And again, the fact of the matter is if the club's moving too much towards you and if your arms are getting a little shorter as you hit, there's a good chance you're going to catch it on the toe. Let's look at a couple of great players in action here and I'll show you the kind of look that you want. So there's Lydia Ko, number one ladies player, and if we look at her downswing, let's say midway down, she's just at the outer edge of that Kia sign up there, right at that right front headlight. Now compare that position with out there. So look how much wider she is here than she was on the, on the downswing. So that's what we're shooting for, narrow to wide, and that'll get the bottom of your swing in front of the ball, but it prevents you pulling in and cutting it off the toe there. So here's Dustin Johnson. Now what we're not saying is I'm not saying the club comes, if that's the target line right there, I estimate. I'm not saying the club comes from the inside to the outside. What I am saying is it comes from the inside and sustains down the line a little longer. It doesn't wipe in there too close. And you can see his hands are up away from him a little bit at that point right after contact. That contact. That's part of that narrow to wide look. And you can get out there and hit it solidly doing that. So as we start to look at how to work on it, here's one of the best suggestions I could give you. Now listen, there's a lot of facets that can cause someone to get a little wide and get a little chicken wing, but we're going to focus on what you could feel right down here that would make a difference for you. And I would set up a couple of golf balls so you've got effectively an imaginary ball in the middle and just practice striking the turf a little bit more over here in front of that imaginary golf ball. And if you can, of course, we're not allowing you to get steep to do that. We'll take that a piece of information for granted. But if you can strike the turf, further over here, it basically means the club had to be closer to you there and would have to be getting wider in this position. This is just a fact of geometry. You can't have the swing super wide on both sides, nor can you really have it super narrow on both sides. It's going to tend to be wider on one side and narrow on the other. and We want wide there and narrow here. So this is a great drill brushing the ground over there, then just bring a golf ball over and work on it a little bit. And you could see I could hit the ground on that side. And again, we're just dealing with this little component of the swing. But if you can get the right feel here, there's a good chance other things are going to start to sort themselves out too. Let me show you a view from over here and a little trick with your wrist as well that might help you accomplish this. So again, I'm going to practice my sense of hitting the ground as far out there as I can. And that fosters the feeling of narrow to wide. Now let me just reiterate again, we're not trying to swing in to out, we're trying to swing from the inside, nice and wide up the target line before it starts to come around a lot. Let me give you one little tip here. If you've struggled a great deal with coming across the ball, and a lot of people have, hey, there's a lot of things that can be causing it, but when you work on it on this scale, and this would be great for people hitting it off the toe, try to feel that about a foot after contact, the handle of the club is higher a little bit. 
not dramatically higher, just a little bit. And we don't want to feel that by raising the body, but by feeling that as the wrists unhinge, they arch a little bit. Believe me, if you can arch them a little bit, it really keeps the club head out there. So fiddle with that on a small scale. And again, just practice it. See if you can get the proper feel. That's nice and high with the handle. Hit myself a little draw, felt like the club was nice and wide and stayed on the line for a little bit there as I went through. Well, hope that's helpful for you on how to stop hitting toe shots. If you liked the video, please leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel. Would love to get you more free content. ScratchGolfAcademy.com is my website. We do one-on-one -on -one internet lessons with me there. Hope you'll consider checking that out. And thanks again for your interest in my instructional videos.